Hi everybody, my name is Kaylee and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay everybody, happy Saturday. I know I posted two Saturdays in a row. I'm telling you guys, I'm getting like the, I'm getting back into it, okay? Um, I've had a very interesting week. Um, well, I guess past two days, to be honest. Yesterday, my friend and I, we went to the pool and there was a bird who had been thrown into a bush and it had been sitting there for two days. So I grabbed it, brought it up to my apartment. It looked like it had like a broken leg or whatever. And I've had a bird before fly into my window and I I put it in a brown paper bag, put it in my bathroom in the dark for like three hours and then I let it go outside because I guess that's what you're supposed to do with birds that have concussions. So I pretty much thought that I would just take this guy to the um, wildlife rescue center here in Florida, but they weren't open yesterday by the time that I had found him. So I had plans to take him this morning and I made sure that I had a heating pad and everything there for him, but he ended up dying. I woke up at like 6.30 in the morning to literally get a shower and then take him. Um, I still took him there because I don't know how to dispose of a bird. I didn't just want to like bury it or throw it back outside. So yeah, um, that happened. And then I feel like there's a few other things, but I can't remember them. So without further ado, I'm going to bring you guys up close. There we go. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, I'm going to do my quick usual little rundown. For most of the video, I will be looking in this direction because my mirror is over here and I would like to see what I'm doing. I do tell these story times in a first person point of view, so if you don't like that, then you can leave. You can pack your things and leave. There's the door. There's the door, bitch! And these story times are sent in by anonymous people. Also, we are going to be doing a simple makeup look today because I do have plans to go out after this. Also, if my face looks a little red, um, I was just doing some skincare stuff and I was also doing my eyebrows. So yeah. Okay, so story time about how my best friend tried to steal my life literally i feel like these kind of stories like low-key scare me because anytime that we usually see like movies about this stuff like the people end up being like super crazy and like willing to do anything to hurt the person that they're trying to steal's life i think that made sense if it didn't oh well you guys know what i'm saying hopefully okay so a little background information i was 20 years old and in cosmetology school and i just want to come out here and say that most of the stuff in this story may seem petty but the way that i personally perceived it was she was trying to steal my life or become me so before we get into this i'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight on what it was like for me growing up so my mom and dad split up whenever i was really young probably whenever i was like about seven no, this is not one of those stories where I had an awful childhood because my parents split up. No, I actually had a really good childhood. I grew up in a super positive environment. My parents co-parented really well. Like we would still spend holidays together every year, even with the step parents. They would all show up to any activities that I had or anything that I was involved in. And any issues that they had, they kept pretty private from me. That must be so nice because, oh my God, growing up, I have no idea if it was because my parents had me super young or what but co-parenting was not a thing literally non-existent mostly because anytime that they would try to co-parent one party would do something sneaky more than the other like my parents would literally get into physical altercations it got so bad to the point where it happened at a dance recital and my grandma literally took me on to dance like, this is why we can't have nice things. So if you're a parent and you are terrible at co-parenting and you're causing problems for your kid, you need to grow up and be the bigger person. And yeah, just don't make your child's life miserable. Okay? Okay. But yeah, um, my sister pretty much got kidnapped. I think you guys have heard that story. But we're not here to talk about my childhood trauma. So back to the story. So yeah, I had a happy life growing up and my mom owned a salon. It was kind of one of those salons where they did like everything. They would do hair, makeup, waxing. There was like a little station for nails, but nothing too extra. Literally just to get some nail polish. Well, whenever my mom and dad split up, both of them worked full-time jobs. So during the summertime, nobody was available to watch me. 
And this ended up with me going into work with my mom every day. And I would usually help out at the salon. And this ultimately started my obsession with doing hair and makeup. Like my mom literally would buy me mannequins to practice on. Like there was this one girl, Abigail, who was really good at cutting hair. And I would set my mannequin up next to her and whoever the fuck she was cutting hair. And I would try to copy whatever they were doing onto my mannequin. Now, why is this relevant? Because whenever I graduated high school, really the only thing that my parents and I didn't agree on, well, at least my dad and I, was me wanting to go to cosmetology school. Now, this wasn't one of those things where I was so passionate about hair and makeup that I would do terrible in school because that was the only thing that I focused on and my life revolved around. No, that's not at all. I had really good grades. Grades that actually get me into really good colleges. And my dad always said that he would pay for me to go to college, which I was super grateful for. But I decided to take a gap year after high school in protest because he was willing to pay for me to go to school to be a doctor or something or any expensive ass school but not for cosmetology school like i have no idea who the fuck this man thought he was trying to tell me what i was going to do for the rest of my life like trust me i get it parents want their kids to be successful but wouldn't you also want to see me happy no okay i thought so yeah so anyways, he was, it got to the point where he was literally so desperate for me to go somewhere, do something with my life. He literally just sent me a check in the mail and was like, do what you want. Just please do something. And I was like, okay, period. I'm going to do what I was planning to do last year. Like, since I would have already basically been done. What the fuck? Anyways. So, you know, I start school, everything is going great. And I was kind of like the expert in class, to be honest. Like everybody in class would come to me for help and the teacher would even ask me to go around and help everybody else do whatever the fuck we were doing because I was way more advanced from working in my mom's salon since I was like seven. Now on top of school, I had a little side hustle doing makeup and hair for events or really just anybody who wanted their hair and makeup done. And my mom's salon was in the city, which lucky for us, that meant way more business than any other regular salon. But since I wasn't licensed to do hair or makeup, I wasn't able to have like my own little station in my mom's salon. So what we would do is if somebody wanted their hair or makeup done for an event or whatever the fuck, my mom would just give them my card and be like, hey, like my daughter does this, that, and the next and we would usually set something up. And in the first few months, it was super hard juggling school with my side hustle because like I said, my mom salon was in the city. So we had a lot of fucking people who would come to me for makeup and hair, which I'm definitely not complaining because the money was very good, but I never had time for friends, boyfriends, nothing. Like my social life was non-existent. But eventually um, I was able to start managing my schedule more properly if that makes sense and in doing this I started hanging out with some of the girls that I went to school with but there was this one girl who we're gonna call Chloe now she was super nice she would always ask me for tips and advice eventually she even started asking me for help outside of school so you know her and I we start hanging out more and we instantly became best friends like her and I were literally the exact same fucking person. It was kind of weird, but it didn't take long before things took a turn for the worst. Actually, 30 different fucking turns for the worst. So let me start from the beginning. Like I said, her and I, we started hanging out a lot and I thought that her and I were a match made in heaven. Her and I were more alike than my sister and I. Now, I was super active on social media, of course, mainly because that's how I built my portfolio and that's how I get discovered by people you know so I would post any hairstyles that I would do any makeup look also I was super into photography and fashion so I had this little area in my dad's garage set up and it was like a backdrop with the tripod box lights and everything and I would do like little photo shoots for myself there you know cute stuff like that I also would make sure to post on my story every day well Chloe wasn't as 
as active on social media. At least I thought because there were no pictures on her Instagram, no highlights, and she didn't even have a profile picture. Well, fast forward, she asked me for some advice on how to build a following slash portfolio. So, you know, of course, I gave her some tips because I'm not a gatekeeper, okay? And to be honest, if I can help somebody reach their goals while I try to reach mine, I will do that. Well, everything that I had told her pretty much went in one year and out the other because literally one week later, I'm not even joking, one fucking week later, I'm scrolling through my feed and I see that she posted a shit ton of pictures all within like 30 minutes. Low-key weird, but okay, go off. Just kidding, don't, because I literally realized that she had copied all of my pictures from the last three months that I had posted on Instagram. Like, my mouth literally dropped to the fucking floor because there was no originality to any of these pictures. We had the same hair, same makeup, almost the same exact outfits, and I didn't really know how to confront her on this, so I text her in kind of a joking way, but not really. I I text her and I low-key call her out by sending her a screenshot of her Instagram profile which by the way profile picture also looks the exact fucking same and I'm like love that I could be your inspiration with a bunch of laughing emojis even though it really wasn't fucking funny it was annoying and weird and she has the audacity to text me back not even text me back. She literally sends me an audio, like a voice audio recording. And she's like, To be honest, that's crazy because I didn't even see half of those pictures on your Instagram. You lying? Yeah. Be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. You're going to sit here and tell me that out of all of those fucking 25 pictures, you only saw like three of them. Bitch, go lie to somebody else because I'm not fucking dumb. Be so for real. I just can't stand people like especially liars like go by so I literally said back to her oh seriously because I don't know what the fuck to say back to that she literally just lied straight to my face about something that she didn't even need to lie about like for real like I think what bothered me most is the lying to be honest like just also, be a little bit original like le straighten your hair or something don't freaking like like literally the exact same everything. Like I put a lot of time and effort into the things that I post and you know, into my hobbies. So it's super annoying whenever somebody just comes in and acts like these are their own ideas. But seriously, copying my every move, I was really fed up with that shit. So fast forward, her and I were still hanging out all the time, at least when I'm not working. And the one day we went to the mall and we both got some stuff. I mean, I actually got a lot of stuff to be honest because I needed like a whole new fucking wardrobe because I had lost a little bit of weight after my surgery to get my appendix removed. Well, after we were done, we went to my house and we were showing each other everything that we got that we didn't see that the other one got, if that makes sense. And while we're showing each other our stuff, she starts asking me like, oh, what would you wear with this? Or what are you thinking about wearing with this? And um, I don't really think it's weird or anything because like, I don't know. I just didn't find it weird. I just like thought she was curious asking me 80 million different questions. So I also do this thing where I will pair my outfits together in my closet. Like I'll hang up a pair of pants with a shirt and some jewelry that I would wear with it because I'm super OCD and I'm also very late for everything, which doesn't really make sense for me having OCD. But yeah, because I'm always late, I like to have my outfits already picked out. So while she was asking me this, you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm probably gonna wear this shirt with these pants and this with that and da 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 And like I said, I just thought she was curious, but I was very, 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 very wrong, sadly. Now, here is where things get even weirder. Like, you thought it was weird before, it wasn't. Not as weird as it's, yeah, you'll see. Anyways, so, instead of her just saying to me, oh, I really like that shirt, I think I'm gonna get the same one, she instead goes back 
to the store, returns everything that she got, and got everything that I did. Literally grabbed all of the same shit. She had to. Because, and I know you're probably thinking, well, how do you know that she did that? Well, let me tell you. My friend works at one of the stores that I go to and I like to shop from. And it's not my like favorite, favorite place, but since my friend works there, she gives me discounts. So later on, she calls me and she's like, hey, yeah, your friend literally came in and returned everything that you guys got. And I was like, really? And I was like, do you think that she just didn't have the money? And she was like, um, no, she actually got everything that you got. I was like, oh, did she now? Did she now? Now, that wasn't the only giveaway, you know, my friend telling me that she did that. Um, she wore literally everything that I had got at the mall that day in one week. Literally. Like, I was low-key pissed off. I was like, dude, can you please have your own fucking style? Like, now I was actually starting to get really pissed off because, okay, be inspired, but don't fucking try to be me. It's like, I couldn't feel original because she literally was stealing my style and everything. But I just told myself that I was overreacting, even though literally all of the signs pointed to her being a crazy psycho bitch. Literally. Well, fast forward, fall time comes around and my friends come home from college for Thanksgiving and we're all super close, okay? Like we've all been best friends since we were in middle school. And we're gonna call them Gianna, Annie, and Fallon. Well, the same day that they came back, we all went out to lunch and I was updating them on everything that had been happening the past few weeks. Well, speak of the devil, guess who walks in? Chloe. Surprise, motherfucker. Are you following me now? And as soon as I see her walk in, I go on my Instagram and I go check if she had saw my Instagram story. And of course she did. She was literally one of the last people to see it. So I wasn't surprised that she showed up where I was. Cause I posted a picture saying, OMG, my best friends are finally home. Yeah, I mean, y'all can say it's a coincidence or whatever, but let's be real anyway so yeah she shows up and she sees me and she's like oh my god hi and then she goes and she introduces herself to the whole table which i get it you know like she's trying to be polite i guess by interrupting us while we're eating lunch and catching up and this leads me into my next thing she was the friend that got super jealous if i hung out with other people like Anytime that I would hang out or talk to somebody else for too long, she would isolate herself and get an attitude, of course. So anyways, like I said, she sees us, she comes over, introduces herself, says hi. But while she was introducing herself, she was like, hi, like, I'm Chloe, I'm her best friend. And my friends and I, like, were low-key chuckling, like because of the way that she said it and all of a sudden she just like looks at me real quick and gives me a dirty ass look like so she can't do things like that and not expect people to laugh or take you seriously so later on her and i are facetiming and she's like i'm not gonna lie i don't like your friends and i'm like why don't you like my friends chloe like what what do they do to you Hmm? And she was like, well, first of all, they were really rude to me. And second of all, they were giving me dirty looks before I even walked up to you guys. So I'm like, dude, you literally realized that you walked up to the fucking table acting like you were more important than everybody else sitting there. Of course, I didn't say that shit out loud, but I was definitely thinking it. So I was like, no, they're not rude. They just laugh at everything. That's just how we are, you know? Like, how about this? Why don't we all go out to lunch tomorrow so that way you guys can meet? And all of a sudden her mood went from like pissy as fuck to, OMG, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to meet them. <sighs> like, fuck my life. Anyways, so fast forward, we're all having a good time sitting at the table, you know, Chloe, she seems to be good. And when my friend goes, OMG, you guys are literally like the exact same person. And then Chloe wants to say some weird shit like, haha, yeah, at least if she dies, you'll have me. Um, yeah, so we all awkwardly laugh. And we cannot be laughing about this shit right now. Oh, I don't think that shit's funny at all. And I guess that she noticed that her joke was super, 
came off weird as fuck because after that she just became extremely quiet and as i said earlier she loves to isolate herself so she was trying to make all the attention go to her she was being quiet but she was huffing and puffing and then she literally y'all i'm not even fucking joking like i thought i was sitting next to a five-year-old she pushed her food in front of her almost knocking over gianna's drink and then puts her head down and i'm like bruh are you fucking kidding me like are we not all 20 and 21 years old like bitch be fucking for real so all of my friends are just looking at me like bruh can you please put this bitch on a fucking leash or kick her ass out come on now so you know i nudge her and i'm like hey are you okay and she's like yeah i'm fine and i'm like no you're not clearly there is something wrong chloe i was like are you sure do you want to go to the bathroom real quick and we can talk about it and she goes no i'm fine i swear and you know what i'm like okay whatever like i am nobody's fucking mother so i am not about to sit here and ask you 50 million times if you're okay until you tell me what's really wrong like go pull that shit with your mother not me so for the rest of lunch my friends and i were all laughing joking having a really good time showing each other tiktoks talking about boys that we like well about 10 minutes after i asked her if she was okay she got up and she went to the bathroom and fast forward 30 minutes she still is not back from the fucking bathroom and so you know my friends asked me they're like hey is she okay and also while we're sitting there one of my friends goes and she's like dude i'm not gonna lie but that bitch is weird as fuck like she's trying way too hard to be like you and here's the thing right my friends and i we're not weirdos but we are definitely different okay like we all have really 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 unique personalities and interests that would usually kind of turn other people away so it's very easy to see whatever somebody is trying to act like one of us and then gianna i fucking love gianna she literally goes and she's like you better go get her before the bill comes because i'm not paying for that bitch she's weird and she ruined my appetite so you know i get up and go to the bathroom and and i'm like chloe we're all ready to go you need to come out so she comes out and she's like i can't believe that you're you just let them be mean to me not to mention you didn't even come in here sooner to check in on me and make sure that i was okay we do not care Wait. that's whenever i like snapped i was like listen chloe i have company here my friends live far as fuck away from me they only come home a few times a year like if you don't like them next time i just won't fucking invite you because i'm not gonna sit here and babysit you every time that we go out and worry about if chloe's good all of a sudden her attitude and tone changed real quick she was like no i'm not asking you to do that i was just saying and i'm like saying what like what the fuck were you trying to say please explain and she's like never mind never mind let's just go back to the table so i don't even sit there and try to figure out why she's like never mind never mind like i don't give two fucks i really don't so we go back to the table and that was the end of that situation well the next day chloe put us all in a group chat and she's like hey guys i had a lot of fun last night we should definitely go out again at some time and i'm like what the actual fuck what the actual flying fuck well that whole week she kept asking me what my plans were so that way we could all make plans to hang out again and she would text the group chat and be like hey guys do you guys want to go here at this time i made reservations and of course of course of fucking course it was a time that i was busy doing something and honestly i didn't really care until the third time she made plans while i was busy and she knew because she would do this and then i would text the group chat being like hey um i can't go could we do it later and her excuse would be sorry i already made reservations and then everybody else in the group chat would feel bad and be like oh yeah like sure we'll go even though nobody even wanted to like nobody even liked this bitch well sooner or later i find out that she's trying to have like the same bonds with my friends that i have like it seems as if like this bitch has been watching my every single fucking move which she was and listening to all of my conversations and she was just literally just changing her whole personality to mirror mine 
Well, my friends eventually followed her on social media, right? Of course, while they were away at college, they FaceTimed me the one night while I just so happened to be at Chloe's. And Fallon was like, hey, like, what are you doing right now? And I show Chloe on the phone and I'm like, oh, I'm hanging out with Chloe right now. And Chloe's like, hey guys, how are you? I miss you guys so much. And then Fallon's like, well, we have something to tell you. So call us as soon as you get home. And then Chloe looks at me and she like rolls her eyes. She's like, and then they hang up the phone and fuck my life because this puts me in a position where Chloe's now upset once again. And then Chloe says to me, she's like, so do you guys like FaceTime all the time? And I'm like, sometimes we do group FaceTime calls, but you know, all of us are usually busy with life. So not really. And she goes, sure. And rolls her eyes. Like, girl, believe whatever the fuck you want. I really don't give a fuck at this point. Like, goodbye. Be fucking for real. So right after that, I got up and I'm like, all right, well, what they had to tell me seemed pretty important. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to dip and yeah. And then she has the fucking audacity to say to me, call me after and tell me what happens. And I just look at her and I literally close the fucking door and walk out. I'm like, dude, like you're fucking ridiculous. So it took me pretty much about like 20 minutes to get home. And when I got home, I FaceTimed my friends and they were like, dude, that girl is for real weird as fuck and i was like yes we established this what else has she done and then they were like well do you not watch her stories and i'm like what are you talking about and i'm like she literally never posts anything so there's nothing for me to watch and they're like well we think that she blocked you from seeing her story because listen to this shit after we followed her we realized that literally you guys would post the same shit on your story every day literally and it's not even like it was like the next day or anything no these things are literally like an hour apart from each other and i'm like what are you guys fucking talking about so annie tells me to check the group chat and she sent in a bunch of screenshots of chloe and i's stories throughout the week and they were literally the exact fucking same like it was weird as fuck and i was like why didn't you guys fucking tell me this and they were like well we knew that you were following her and you guys spent like 24 7 together so we wouldn't have been surprised if you guys were doing the same shit and they were like well it gets even weirder because the few times that we went out with her she took a bunch of pictures of us literally all night like there wasn't a single 20 minutes that we could get in without her being like let's take a picture guys and she keeps posting on her story that she misses her quote besties aka us like the picture that we took the one day that we all went out to eat she literally cropped you out of it so after this um i confront her about blocking me from her story and she goes omg i totally forgot to put you back on it i just didn't want you to see our friends and i having fun on my story whenever you couldn't be there who, who, wait who who bitch like what the fuck do you mean our friends they're not yours they're not ours they are mine mine stupid like get your fucking back straight well if you thought things couldn't get any weirder they do fast forward to around christmas time we had a few days off and her and i didn't see each other our whole break because my dad ended up moving three hours away and i decided that i was going to go and spend christmas with him so you know fast forward i get back to school and i walk into class i don't see her anywhere so i sit down when all of a sudden my teacher jenny she was like oh chloe i really like your hair now you guys really do look like twins and she's like pointing between chloe and i and what do you know chloe sits in front of me by the way this bitch turns around and her fucking hair is the exact same as mine the exact fucking same now i have blonde hair right i have blonde hair but i have black underneath my blonde like the whole bottom of my hair is black and then it's just blonde on top so no it's not one of those fucking things where she could have just been like oh well i look i wanted to have blonde hair now not to mention she has said to me multiple times that she hates blonde hair because she feels like it matches her skin but then she makes a weird joke but not really a joke more of a jab at me she turns around and looks at me and she goes yeah but i'm the better looking twin I tell you what you look like, but you won't like it. <laughs> and then turns around. Like, I don't have time to be doing this shit with this bitch every fucking
fucking day. Well, while we're doing our work, I say to her, I was like, I thought you hated blonde hair. Why did you dye it blonde? And she snapped at me and she's like, you don't own a fucking hairstyle or a hair color. Like this shit was fucking endless. Same hair, same makeup, same clothes, same social media, same friends. Da 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 da. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she got plastic surgery to look like me. Oh, wait, she fucking did that. Yep. So I get my lips done with this lady that my mom is friends with and well she went there as well and she showed my mom's friend a picture of my lip and was like this is what I want them to look like and my mom's friend had texted me and she was like hey can I post a picture of your lips on Instagram everybody really loves them and I'm like oh really and she was like yeah she was like um some girl came in and showed me a picture of your lips and said that she wanted them done like yours and I'm like oh that's so cute guess who fucking walks in the next day with her fucking lips all fucking swollen you guessed right Chloe the little fucking creep like this girl has serious like mental issues. So of course I'm venting to my mom about all of this, right? And she was like, well, what did she get done to her hair? And I was like, mom, I told you, literally mine, black on the bottom and blonde on top. And she was like, well, what hair color was hers before? And I was like, black. And she was like, honey, I was the one who did her hair. And I was like, mom, what the fuck do you mean you were the one who did her hair? She was like, honestly, honey, she was really sweet. She came in and she was like, hey, I love your daughter's hair. I really want mine to look like hers. Granted, hers did look shittier because her hair was black before, so haha. -ha. She was telling me that I was so talented and everything like that, like of course. Of course my mom didn't see the fucking issue in it because Chloe was kissing her ass the whole time. And the one day in class, I'm talking about a pair of shoes that I really want to one of my other friends, Mallory, and she's like, OMG, those are so cute, da da da. And then Chloe, of course, comes over my shoulder and she's like, yeah, those are really cool. Which I was super fucking annoyed because I didn't show her for a reason. Cause after all of these incidents, I decided that I just wasn't gonna share like what clothes I was gonna wear or hair or makeup styles or shoes that I liked, anything like that. Because of course you guys can guess what happened. A week later, she walked in uh, with the same shoes as me. Guys, and like, I know this sounds like so exaggerated, but it's really not. Like this girl was doing everything to be me. So I look at her and I'm like, oh my God, I just ordered mine the other day. And she was like, of course you did. And I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I wanted those. And she was like, no, it's more so because I have them. Now you want them. Um, ciao. Anyway, so this bitch is clinically fucking insane. And this is whenever I decided I was fucking done with her. So right before our falling out, I had stopped letting her over my house because my makeup designs started going missing. So I'm more of a visual person. Okay, so anytime that I have any ideas for hairstyles or makeup looks or anything like that, I draw them. And every time that she would come over, she would bring her bag over my house. So the one day while we're in class, I decide that I'm gonna go through her bag because the fuck, I don't give a shit. What do you know? My papers are in there. My missing papers that just so happened to go missing the last time that she was at my house. And and I was literally so fed up with this bitch that I just stomped over to her in front of everyone. And I was like, why the fuck do you have my shit? And she was like, what are you talking about? And I shoved the papers in her face and I'm like, these, what the fuck were they doing in your bag? And she was like, first of all, why were you going through my bag? And second of all, those weren't in there. So after class that day, you know, she texts me and she's like, sorry, honestly, I just need, you know, I needed a little bit of inspiration, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, you literally could have just asked me. You you could have just asked me and I wouldn't have had an issue with it. The issue that I have is with you fucking lying to me and stealing my shit. And then the official last thing that happened was we were doing hairstyles on our mannequins and we left to go to lunch. Well, I come back and my mannequin is at her station and hers was at mine. And as soon as she saw me look at the mannequin and realize it wasn't mine, she ran over to me because I guess she didn't want to be called out in front of everybody again. Like I think that she really think that I didn't have the balls to do it so yeah um then she was like please don't tell I'm sorry blah 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 and these aren't even this first 
incidences of her stealing my shit. Um, she stole my scissors before, so I would have to write my name on everything because when I would confront her, she would be like, no, my mom bought this for me, da da da. It literally was just never ending. But it's my fault because I kept trying to give her the benefit of the doubt like a fucking idiot. Well, the one night my friends and I were on FaceTime and one of my friends finds Chloe's old best friend on Instagram and they looked the exact fucking same. I know you're probably thinking, well, how do they look the same if she looks like you now? No, I'm talking about when I first met her. She had black hair. She wore bright pink Barbie lipstick. She had this dark ass spray tan. She had lash extensions. And well, I decided that I was going to ask one of my friends to ask her why they stopped being friends. I would have done it, but just in case this girl is a weirdo and would go back to Chloe and tell her that I asked her, I didn't want to have to deal with that fucking bullshit. So my friend decided to take one for the team. Thank God. Like I did not want the beef in my life. Okay. I was already trying to cut out the drama. I don't need any more. Well, literally less than five minutes later, this girl sent Gianna screenshots of Chloe posting the exact same shit as her. Not only that, but she sent screenshots of her trying to turn her friends against her and her trying to steal her boyfriend. And even her talking shit about her to her mom. This is all with the ex-best friend. So that's whenever my friends and I decided that we were gonna block her. And let me tell you something, she fucking freaked. Like this bitch had a whole fucking mental breakdown. She messaged me off of a fake phone number and told me that none of my friends actually like me. And she sent me screenshots of her talking shit on me to my friends to my fucking friends it wasn't even them talking shit and the funniest thing about this was they would literally send me screenshots of this and i would tell them what to say back dumbass bitch like they would send it in the group chat and we would all fucking laugh at her so honey um good try nice try well then i decided that i was going to send her the screenshots of what her ex bestie said and i sent her them and i was like aren't you getting tired of this shit like get your own life and that's whenever she fucking blocked me like sis was like oh shit she found out my secret gotta go well, less than a month later, she found a new best friend, completely deleted all the shit on her Instagram, and copied her new best friend's fucking personality, looks, everything. And her new best friend just happened to be pregnant, right? Oh yeah, you guys already know, but it's a little bit worse. She she got pregnant, but she literally got pregnant by her best friend's boyfriend. Um, okay, we can't just blame her here. We have to blame the guy because like, dude, really? You have a kid on the way and you want to fuck somebody else? Like, you're weird for that. And then um, I also genuinely feel bad for this girl because Loki, it seems like she has a mental illness and she needs to be in a fucking mental hospital because... This could have ended up way worse. Like she could have been way more dangerous than she actually was. Okay, everybody, that is the end of today's story time. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, maybe we hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to know whenever I post my next video, make sure to click that bell. And if you want to send in your anonymous story time or you want to know how to send in your anonymous story time, make sure to click the links down below in the description. But other than that, I will see you guys next Saturday with a new story time.